Welcome to the ATV Experience installation tutorial. ATV Experience firmware has a number of different requirements. First of all, we require a Windows PC, a mail to mail USB cable, which can be found very cheaply online, and Logic USB burning tool installed on that Windows PC. As well as that, we require our TV box. We support S905W, S905X and S912 devices currently. The next step is to download the appropriate files and programs to install ATV Experience onto your Amlogic device. We currently support S905X, S905W and S912 devices. If you're unsure what device you have, please ask us on the forum or do some research into what your device is called and locate the specifications probably available on Google. As well as this, on our download page, you'll see all the downloads available, including USB burning tool. We recommend installing and running USB burning tool version 2.1.2, although other versions are available. Next step is to load up USB burning tool, and then we need to select the language settings just here, and change it to English. Next up, we need to import the ATV Experience firmware into the actual program itself. Once it's checked over the file, I want you to click Start. Next step is to connect our Amlogic Android TV box to our PC using the mail to mail USB cable that we required at the start of the video. So connect one end of the mail cable into your PC, locate the OTG port on your TV box as well as the reset button. The OTG port is not always properly marked so you may be required to try a few different ports until you find the right one. Hold in the reset button which is normally located inside the AV port, underneath the box on the side and then insert the other end of the mail cable, mail USB cable into the TV box. On your PC it should start loading up and begin installing drivers. You may be required to repeat this process before the firmware will start to install. Once the firmware starts to install you can then remove the reset button. Allow it to install and it should take a couple of minutes. Once completed it should show up in green 100% burning successful. Then you can click stop and disconnect your USB cable from your TV box. You can now go over to your TV and insert the power cable, HDMI cable and begin the first initial boot. This firmware has been designed to work with as many TV boxes as possible. Unfortunately, it won't work with every single one of them. The best advice is to go over to the forum, ask questions, ask in the comment section below, try different versions of USB burning tool or try different versions of the firmware. Burn Card Maker is another tool to actually install firmware onto your TV box. We need to install it onto our computer and basically use this tool to write the image file that's provided by ATV Experience onto an SD card. Insert the SD card into our TV box, hold in the reset button and apply power. Burn Card Maker is another process of how to install firmware on your Amlogic box. We need to install Burn Card Maker, the actual Amlogic program, and use this tool just to basically write the image file onto an SD card. Insert the SD card into your Amlogic TV box, and then hold in that reset button, which we covered before, and then apply power. Now, this should begin the installation process at the box rather than using the PC to actually install it. It is just another method to actually install this piece of firmware. Thanks again for watching. My name's Matthew and you've been watching another video tutorial by the MXQ Project.